Welcome to the Hayley's Help YouTube channel, the home of all things clean and organised. If you're new here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Last week, while on my private Facebook account, a post came up. It was a cleaning hack post, so instantly this piqued my curiosity. The post had been shared 86 thousand times. So I wanted to see whether this was a genuine cleaning hack or a ghastly hoax. Let's take a look and find out. This cleaning hack was based around towels. There was a lady that wanted to do a deep towel clean because she saw on YouTube that allegedly your towels going through the washing machine don't clean them well enough. Apparently, the dirt embeds itself deep within the fibres, so you need to do a bath soak with your towels. Now, in the photos, the water, once she soaked the towels, was filthy. She did say that the towels had already been washed, they were perfectly clean, so they weren't dirty towels, but the water was filthy. And she believed that this hack definitely worked due to the colour of the water. So, let's test it out here on the Hayley's Help channel. I have got the products ready that we need to use for this cleaning hack. What it says to use is some borax, some bicarbonate of soda, and some oxy action. This is Spanish. In the States, it will be called oxy action. It just varies from country to country, but this is what it looks like. It's basically a stain remover. That all needs to be placed within the bathtub, and then we are going to go ahead and put in our clean towels. I want to see whether my bath water turns dirty with the clean towels or whether it just stays the same. We're then gonna move on to testing coloured towels. It was a brown towel that she used and many of the Facebook commenters said they believed that the dye from the towels had run and that's why the water was a murky brown. So let's put it to the test. experiment we are going to use my white towels from downstairs in the downstairs bathroom so let's just put these in and we're going to see whether the water turns filthy or whether it stays well how it looks now really it doesn't say whether it didn't say in the article whether you should actually be swishing them around like this but just to make it fair I'm going to and then once we've done these ones we can go in with the navy and see whether there's then dirt on the navy and whether it's the colour running or whether this really is an absolutely genius hack to have the cleanest towels in the world. are soaking in our bathtub let's talk a bit about the process that is named strip washing what it basically is is if you've got towels or bed linen or any laundry really you can go ahead and place it in a bucket or your bathtub or your sink or wherever you want to place it and you leave it to soak for up to four hours and the solutions that we've just put into the bath what they should do is strip out any of the microscopic dirt and bacteria that has built up deep within the fibres. Now, here's the thing when it comes to strip washing and the reason why you might not always find a murky bathtub once you're done. This tends to work better if you use homemade laundry detergents or soaps 
and also if you wash on a lower temperature. So my towels always go on a 95 degree wash. I like to put them on the hottest wash possible and that is why I'm not overly expecting a huge kind of dirt extraction from my towels. However, if you wash on cool up temperatures, this might be a really good little experiment for you to have in your home just to see what dirt and oils you can pull out of your towels and your bedding. So we have left the white towels in the bath for about four hours now and um, they look fine, they look white. I wouldn't say, I'm just going to try and remove them all so you can see the um, water. I wouldn't say that the water has changed that much. I guess it's maybe slightly murky but I mean, I certainly wouldn't say it's filthy. We're now gonna go in with, I'm gonna put some more solution in, I'm gonna run a whole new bath so it's a clean slate, and we're gonna go in with the navy towels. We're gonna see whether they fare up better, and let's see whether the dye in the navy towels run, and maybe that's what we're seeing here in our bathtubs. the water is definitely going a lot murkier than with the white towels. Now, there is a part of me that wants to say it's the dye off the towels, but I don't know. Cause I mean, it's not blue, is it? That's like a dirty color. It's like you've just come out of a swamp and you've had a good like your mum's watched you in the bath and giving you a good clean and that's like literally we've just putting them in now so we're going to leave these for four hours now and then come back and see what they look like that is gross <laughs> So our navy towels have been soaking for just under four hours now and as you can see the water definitely is um, dirtier than with the white towels. However, here is the Nellie and Kelly dilemma that I now have. Could this be that actually perish the fall, my navy towels, because they're older than my white ones, they actually are holding on to microscopic dirt and oils within the fibres and I have just by strip washing them pulled out all of that dirt or could it be that the towels are navy, the dye is running? We just don't know but that definitely is murkier water and dirtier water than the white towels for sure but we don't know whether the water is this colour from the dye from the navy towels or from dirt trapped within the fibres. So I think, to err on the side of caution, I'm now gonna go off and I'm gonna strip wash all of my towels, all of my bedding, and the whole contents of my home is gonna be strip washed in case of microscopic germs and bacteria and dirt 
hiding within the fibres, even though I wash my towels and bedding on a 95 degree wash. Thanks a lot Facebook, thanks a lot.